Hello and welcome to our market alert video for the week ended January 21st, 2022. And uh, you may be wondering what the heck is going on with this crazy market? Oh my gosh, it seems like it's going down every day now when it was going up every day last year. What the heck has changed? What's going on? Well, the answer, there's two answers. Uh, in our view. One is that the Federal Reserve, of course, has announced that they're going to be raising interest rates. So we have this whole dynamic of trying to digest, okay, well, what does that mean? How do we adapt to that? How's the consumer going to be affected? What's that going to do to the growth of the economy and profits? And oh my gosh, I got to digest all that. Now, the other thing that is happening, it appears, is that we may actually be coming to the end of the pandemic. Wow. Um, you know, England, for example, has decided that they're going to dispense with all mask mandates, all vaccine mandates. They're done. They, they see that this is the end and therefore they're removing all restrictions and everybody can go back to, to normal. Um, we're seeing the, the CEO of Pfizer saying that by March we should be back to normal again and the pandemic may be over. So we hope that all these people are right, of course, but that's the second thing that is kind of being digested by the, cons the uh, investing community, and that is maybe the pandemic is coming to an end. So what does that mean? Well, if you look at companies like Netflix, for example, they were huge beneficiaries of the pandemic, right? I mean, <clears throat> low interest rates put, makes it cheaper for consumers to live. They don't have to spend as much to buy uh, to loans and all the rest of that credit cards. And so what happens is that they have more money to spend. And guess what? They are in the middle of a pandemic. They're stuck at home. Where are they going to spend their money? They're going to go on Netflix and watch thousands of hours of Netflix. Well, now interest rates are going up. They have less money. The pandemic may be coming to an end. So guess what? Companies like Netflix and the technology companies that were the massive beneficiaries of the pandemic um, are now going to see their stock prices fall. In fact, Netflix uh, stock price yesterday fell back to where it was before the pandemic started. Kind of logical if you think about it. So what does this all mean? Well, technology stocks are a large part of the stock market. And so if they're getting beaten down, then that's going to take the stock market down as well. Does that mean we're headed into a big bad bear market and we're headed into a recession and all these terrible things? Time will tell, but right now it doesn't look like that to us. 60% of the companies so far that have reported uh, on the S&P 500 index, companies that are reporting their earnings, have beaten their estimates. So as long as profits hold, we believe that the market will have its volatility, which we warned you about, but that uh, things should work out okay. Now, having said that, we could be wrong, right? Uh, we could see a massive drop in the market. We could see a big bad recession. We've talked about what are the things we see that could cause that. We give them low probability, but they could happen. Uh, one, of course, is that the Federal Reserve acts too quickly. They raise interest rates too, too quickly, or they act too slowly. They don't raise them fast enough. Either way, that could be considered to be a policy mistake, and oh my gosh, the economy goes into a recession, and we have a bear market. The other thing, of course, are the tensions that we've discussed in a, in a small way before, and that is, you know, China invading Taiwan or Russia invading Ukraine. And then we have, you know, a world war. Or we have a war between Europe and, and uh, Russia, which we have to get involved in. And all of those things could cause some upheaval. But we give those a low probability at this point. Uh, we don't think Putin wants to go to war with Europe and the United States over Ukraine. So uh, that, that probably is not a, a good risk reward uh, ratio for, for the Russians, but we'll see. So overall, um, a lot of anxiety, digesting of the interest rate hikes, the likelihood that uh, with Omicron, this may be the last wave and it's not as deadly as the previous wave. So it, it may be that we finally get to herd immunity. So all of those things uh, are, are causing the back and forth that we see in the market currently. Of course, our, our invest and protect strategy is there and, and we will enact it should we reach our sell signal. Right now, we are not very, we're closer than we were before for sure, but we're not very close to it yet. Um, you know, a normal correction in the S&P is about a 10% drop in the market. And uh, right now it's about seven. So it hasn't even reached uh, correction territory yet, despite all of this. So we might, we might hit our sell signal. If we do, we will get out, we will protect. 
Uh, that, that goes without saying, but we don't think we're going to get there. Now, make sure that you watch your mailbox because we're going to be sending you a very, very exciting and important uh, announcement, a video and uh, that we absolutely, you know, it's rarely we say something's mandatory, but as a client, this one that's coming, it's mandatory, okay? We want you to watch it. It's absolutely imperative because we have some fantastic news about some major changes we're making. We're so excited, and we want you to, to, to know all about that, and uh, so watch for that, okay? So thank you for watching this video, and uh, we will talk soon.